Geneva, what is the time here? 9.52. Yes, sir. Oh, boy. So we've been here for quite a while. What are you eating? What are you eating? They say that eventually you are going to, what you are eating, going to make you or do you in. And I believe it. What you are eating, what you are drinking, is going to keep you alive or kill you. You see, I am a, a junkie for good eating habits and eating the right food. Please, those of you on Ustream, Ustream has gone off because I think that thing is no longer able to, to take all that many. Um... It's on. Okay, still on, okay. And my own side here is dark, it's like it has. I did not know whether it was charged up enough. I think we need a smaller, a smaller television laptop to use for, uh, for Ustream. That's what we are going to do. We are going to shop for something like that because this is no longer working for us. All right. When you look at Genesis, after the creation of a human being, remember that the green plants, the fruits, the vegetables, the nuts were made before humans were made. God said specifically that he has given the green plant, that's what is there in the Bible. I read it. I read it. He said, I have given you every green plant. I've given you every vegetable. Whether they were green or not, he's given us every vegetable, edible vegetable, edible nuts and fruits. Those are the original food of a human being. The original food of a human being that keeps you healthy, that keeps you young, that makes you live long and enjoy life. That makes your body, your mind function very well has to do with the vegetables, the plants, the fruits, and the nuts. Instead of a candy, it's eat a fruit. Instead of all these different stuff that tastes very good. Eat some cashew, eat some peanuts, eat some almonds, eat something that are natural. Because, you see, at the end of the day, we are going to learn to go back to the ancient of days and his ways of doing things. At the end of the day, we are all going back to do things his way. And what was his way? I give you every fruit trees, you know, every vegetable for food. And remember that it was also the fruit that was also used to set up as a test to see whether we will be obedient. Same thing. So it has not departed. Fruit, uh, food. Food has always been a test to see whether you can refuse food for God. See, it's the same thing. Can you refuse food for God? Can you refuse food for your own health? 
Can you refuse the heavy pastas, the pizzas, the burgers? There are a lot of junks out there that taste so good, very, very good, but they are no good. They are just junk. You are healthy to the measure of what you are eating. What you are eating is going to determine how far you are going in life in terms of longevity, longevity, and the health of your mind also. Because your body is going to affect your mind. I will, I will uh, advise you to eat more of salad than anything else on earth. At least out of the seven days a week, four of it should be for salad with fish or sa with salmon or what kind of any kind of good fish or with chicken. You break some chicken and put in it. Or you boil eggs and put in your salad. Those are very nice stuff. They are very tasty. I'm going to do some broadcasts that I'm going to show you how to make very tasty salads of different kinds. Those of you who knows me knows that I'm very good at cooking. I'm very good at cooking. Lizzie and I, we were today talking about how uh, some people cook their meat, they barbecue their meat or fry their meat or their chicken. We have a different way of, of, doing our, of doing ours. And I was telling her how we do our own chicken and our own fish or our own, um, our own uh, meat, whether for fry or for or barbecue. They say, where we do it? And I'm going to show you. It's a way that you do it that is very, very extra tasty, extra crispy, and extra healthy. Whether it is fried or barbecued, they say, where you do it? You don't just sprinkle things on it and throw it on the grill or put it, roll it in a flour, roll it in a, in a, in an, in an, in an, in a, dip it in an egg. And then you start frying, no, 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 no. There's, there are ways that you do it. I tell people that those of us who come from the African continent or India, India, Africa, Vietnam, Vietnamese or Thai, some of the Asian countries have very good food. Those of us from Africa, we have very good food, and the way it is prepared is very classic. They are not raw. You go to some, some Kentucky Fried Chicken, it's crispy in the outside, and the inside is still raw. And some other places. That's why I don't like those chicken. I don't eat those chicken out there. I'm not trying to talk that on them. They are good for some people, not for me. There's a way we make our chicken or the way we make our fish. And when you eat it, it tastes so good. Mm -hmm. What are you eating? How many salad are you taking in? I can tell you that if you start to eat out of the seven days a week, Four of it, you eat a salad, you will start losing weight also. I'm not talking of stubborn fat that loves you, that doesn't want to go, that has to be eradicated through some other radical ways 
other aggressive ways. What are you eating for breakfast? What are you eating for lunch? What are you eating for dinner and when? Because those are important. Have you discovered that the animals that eat, that eat, um, what do we call it, vegetables and plant and fruit, they are very healthy, they live longer, they are very strong. They have stamina. That's one thing I've discovered about them. They have stamina. We are not talking about lions that uh, can just run for a few minutes and they are tired. They are worn out. Or leopard that will just sleep for some this thing and then they are they are okay. And they are they are done. So I, I am here to encourage you that there is no option for you. Many people have gone through so many sickness and it has to do with the food. There is a lot of contaminants in our foods. Our food is contaminated. Food will kill you, except you are eating the right kind of food. You, you can die because of the food you are eating very easily. I mean, who doesn't like pizza? They taste so good. Who, do, who, does, who does not like popcorn? Who doesn't like burgers? With all those big pieces of, of meat slapped between it. And cheese, and extra cheese. Doesn't Pepsi and Coca-Cola, do they not taste really good? Yes, they do. Go back and look at how Coca-Cola people advise people to drink it. You were never to drink it all by itself like that. You were not to drink it from the can or from the bottle. This is, this is how they made it. It was made this way. You pour the Coca-Cola or the Pepsi, you pour it into a glass. And then you squeeze some fresh lime or the one or the one that is in a what do we call it? Or, or the one that is already made in a container in a plastic, you squeeze it inside or you pour. You pour lemon or you pour lime into it. And go and try what I'm telling you. Pour a can or pour a Coca-Cola from his, from his uh, two liters or one liter or whatever. Pour it into a glass and then pour or squeeze a lemon or a lime. Pour a lime or squeeze a lime into it. You will see how the gas begin to go very seriously it will start to erupt. That's the way it was made for you to consume it. Then you can now drink it. But then people started drinking it without doing it that way. And it started affecting everybody. And because more people are buying it and drinking it, so the company kept quiet. Whether people drink it and as long as they are making their money. So even food is for business. Food is for money. And nobody cares whether people eat it and die. Most of the food we are consuming in today's world is full of starch. There are three S. And that is not a coincidence that is three S. Starch, salt, sugar. That's it. Three S. S, S, S. Starch, salt, sugar. I was just looking, and the Holy Spirit said to me, are you aware 
that almost all the food in today's world is full of the three S. I said, what's the three S? He said, starch, salt, sugar. I quickly wrote it down. Starch, salt, sugar. They all loaded with it. So that you keep going to eat and drink some more. You never get enough. And then it starts affecting you. And you don't even know that it's a silent killer. What people are eating is what is also silently contributing to their death. Please, I want you to change the way you eat. There is no option. No other option. There is no other option. And God is my witness, I'll spend some time tonight to talk to you about medication. If something requires surgery, go for it. If it requires a shot, go for it. If it requires uh, pills, go for it. Especially the good medicine recommended by doctors and by, and by uh, licensed nurses. And especially herbal supplements very good because they come straight from nature there's nothing as good as it sometimes it's good for you to cook a meal for yourself make a meal for yourself instead of buying it already made because if you buy it already made there is a tendency that there will be starch salt and sugar in it i don't eat salt i don't eat sugar I hope you know that. Make sure that you never eat a meal without some vegetable in it. Even if it does not qualify as a healthy meal, make sure you put some vegetables in it and some good fruits. Instead of a candy, try eating some nuts or some fruits, it will be very good for you. I want to thank you for joining me in this broadcast that my job has been to instruct you and to give you direction in life. Please do pray for us. And um, if, you, if you need, there is something that, um, what's her name? There is something that um, Vida produced a while back I have sent it to the to, to my doctor to access it to see whether it qualifies. Then if it passes the test, we will start offering it something that will make you live long, what to do, exercises to do, food to eat, different things, recipes, all kind of stuff, medicine that you should be taking on a daily basis. It's all in a package. It's already made ready to go. So we want it to be approved by by my doctor. She's reading it now. So when they are done, then we'll begin offering that to, to people. They can buy it and use it for their own benefits. So go, go and start doing some of these things. It, it doesn't cost you a whole lot of money to live healthy. If you only know where to shop, where to shop for the for the healthy stuff. All right. This is where we bring tonight no other option to an end. And I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Geneva is Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Geneva is the is your stream still running? No. Okay.